All right, guys, so we're talking about mean, median mode, range, and standard deviation. Uh, we just left off talking about standard deviation, and I said, luckily, we don't really have to use that formula because there's a button for this on our calculator. So the commands for this, you're going to go into the stat button. Uh, this chapter, we're really going to be focusing on the stat button uh, because our chapter is on statistics. You'll go in, and uh, from there, you're going to edit. And you're going to enter your data set into this list. We've used these lists before to enter information. Um, we're just going to use it a little bit differently here. Basically, I made up a 10 question quiz. And let's say I gave a 10 question quiz and these were the scores. I would enter them into L1. Once I had entered them, I would push stat. And then instead of going saying over here and edit, you're going to slide over to calc. And you're going to choose one var stats for one variable statistics. And you want it to pull from L1 because that's where we had entered our information. And so I'm going to go down to calculate and I'm going to be given a whole bunch of information. So I'm actually given too much information. I don't need all of this, but some of it is useful. Uh, in the last video, I talked about how X bar, X with a horizontal line on top of it, that means the mean. So right away, we have the mean or the average, uh, and that's 7.7. .7. Also, this letter here, this O with the squiggly line kind of over the top of it, I talked about how that was standard deviation, and that's our standard deviation right there. Uh, I generally want you to round to two decimal places, so our standard deviation in this data set is 1.42. So right away, we're given the mean and the standard deviation, and you'll notice that there's like a little down arrow here, meaning that I can scroll down, and you will find the median. The median of our data set is 8. So of our five summary statistics, I already have three of those things. Now, the other two are not given in this um, one bar stats on our, on our calculator. However, they are probably the easier to, to, uh, to calculate on your own. Uh, one of the ones that we do not know yet is the range. And if you recall, the range is the largest number minus the smallest number. But our calculator here does indicate what the largest number is with max, and that's 10 and min is five, so you would subtract those to get the range, and so the range is five. The other thing that the calculator does not do automatically for us is calculate the mode. And remember, mode is the data entry that shows up the most often. But I can go over here and I can just kind of look at it. Uh, the number eight shows up three times. One, two, three, uh, seven only shows up twice. Looks like eight is our mode. Eight is the data set that shows up uh, most often. And so uh, that's really all it takes for us to identify those five data, um, those five statistics that we need to need to show in 11.1 .1 and 11.2. So remember, uh, the measures of central tendency are the mean, the median, and the mode, and they're describing the center of the data. Then we have measures of dispersion that describe how spread out our data is. And the two measures of dispersion that we're studying would be the range and the standard deviation.